Hello and welcome to Disky Fanatic channel for all your ultimate football content destination. Whether be it match reviews, football analysis, starting lineups and all groundbreaking news on the football front, we've got you covered. Is this the type of content that excites you? Then please subscribe to Disky Fanatic channel and please click that bell icon so that you'll be notified of all the football content that we share and upload on this channel let's jump straight into this video hello and welcome to our brand new video and welcome to this gift fanatic channel as the name says it we are a fanatic of this game we would like to welcome our brand new viewers who are joining and watching us for the first time on this channel feel free to subscribe and click that bell icon so that you'll be notified of all the disc content that we share and upload on our channel we would like to also welcome our regular viewers and subscribers to our channel in this video we are going to know the potential starting 11 for orlando pirates who are going to be playing with amazon fc this is not an official starting 11 for orlando pirates but just a mere prediction of the potential starting 11 for orlando pirates who will be playing against amazon fc come this tuesday current black label cup has been done and dusted and the focus shifts to the dstv premiership amazon fc are coming from an amazing and emphatic win against kaiser chiefs in the current black label knockout cup where they won one nil their confidence is at its peak following the win now we'll see how they will play against the mighty packs as in Nyamang and Gani come this Tuesday. So we're going to see the potential starting 11 for this particular club, Utah Orlando Pirates. So I'm, I am going to open up the pitch on which these two teams will play at come this Tuesday. So yes, we're going to see the players like Tim in the mix. So sit back, relax as we discover these players on this channel, Utah Orlando Fanatic channel. So I'm going to start with the goalkeeper and I'm going to place the players randomly in their positions. But at the end of the day, we're going to have our potential starting 11 for Orlando Pirates. With the injury that took place to Uchaine when they, when they played against Captain Spurs, you will not start the game. So I'm going to bring in Ofori in this mix. So Ofori will come in and occupy the position for the goalkeeper. On the between the two sticks yes here we go i'm going to resize i'm going to resize him and put him there in the mix of this whole fixture for orlando pirates yes i'm also going to bring in uh la pambili ulipasa as the number one striker for the day so the formation i'm going to go with um this morning this evening this afternoon is a formation of four at the back four in the mid and two strikers up front yes i'm gonna change the formation today and use that particular format and see if pirates will not mimic my predictions yes exciting matches upcoming this tuesday when amazula colliding with amapagania as nyamangengani so yes ulipasa will come in and occupy that space in front of the goal yes i'm gonna need another player to partner him as the formation says four for two so I need another player to make another striker for the day. So I'm going to bring in Uma Hopa. Uma Hopa will come in and occupy that space in front with Ulipasa making a good combination right there for the team. Yes, what do you think guys of these two players? Pambi Lile as the two strikers. Do you think they'll complement very well each other? Yes, we would like to hear from you. Please put your comments in the comment section below. We want to see you and hear what you guys are saying on these particular two players that I've put up for you. The potential starting 11 for Orlando Pirates. And yet, we're going to see other players coming in the mix. So I'm going to bring in a left back position for Orlando Pirates. I'm going to drop Oholto. Uh, I had put him last time in front as the winger. So I'm going to drop him at the back as three defender for Orlando Pirates. So we're going to be playing the left back position. Orlando Pirates come this Tuesday when Amazul and Amapagania collide for maximum three points. Three points waits for these two teams at their mercy, at their door. So we're going to see how they fare. 
come this Tuesday. So yes, um, I'm also going to say something about Horto. Horto is a very solid defender for Orlando Pirates. He plays at the left back position this time around, and it's going to, by all means to try by all means to um, to defend as well. So we're going to bring another player on the right back position for the Orlando Pirates. Yes, another player that will be Ushandu. Ushandu will come in and occupy that space right there for Orlando Pirates. Yes, solid defender as well. He's going to be doing his duties at the back for Orlando Pirates. In case Uholdo gets injured, we're going to have an, a, a substitute for him. That will be Umako. Umako can come in as well and play that role as the left back position for Orlando Pirates. But Umako can be used as a substitute for Uholdo. Yes, Uholdo is also one of the players who likes also moving forward and creating those chances for Orlando Pirates. So yes, overlapping, it's his thing. So we're going to see how he does it come this Tuesday. Yes, I'm going to move in the midfield department for Orlando Pirates. I'm going to bring in a, a very formidable and most hard-working player that is Umiguel Tim. I'm going to bring him as a defensive midfield for Orlando Pirates. Yes, he's going to be in the mix there for Orlando Pirates. I'm going to resize him and put him there in his spot for Orlando Pirates. So yes, so guys, this is the other... What do you think? So yes, guys, what do you think of Uhoto and Ushandu? No team in this mix I've put in for you guys. Please share your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. I would like to hear from you guys what you guys think of these potential players I've placed in for you guys. Yes, so Utim will come and occupy that space right there for Orlando Pirates. So another player I'm going to bring in is Utemingos Lodge that will come in and occupy that left wing, that right wing position rather for Orlando Pirates. So you're going to come in and giving in crosses um, for Orlando Pirates. Um, I'm not sure if U Saleng is still injured. He can also uh, come in and being uh, being and substitute for Orlando Pirates. So U Saleng can come in and also occupy that space right there. So another player can also come in and um, replace U Uloch on the right wing. Can be Ota Disa. Yes, Katla Ota Disa can also come in and occupy that space and becoming one of the players as to replace Utemikos Lodge. Yes, Uloch is back. We saw him playing. Yes, he is back. On, he's back. So he's gonna be bringing his form back for Orlando Pirates come this Tuesday. Yes, guys. So what do you think of Uloch? Is do you think he has brought back his rhythm at Orlando Pirates, given that he was not playing for some couple of days and weeks? So yes, he's back in the fold. He's going to try by all means to win the match for Orlando Pirates come this Tuesday. So yes, another player I'm gonna bring in in the midfield department for Orlando Pirates that will be Upetik Masongani. Masongani will come in and occupy more on the left wing for the Orlando Pirates. So Masongani will come in and occupy that space. A man coming from Super Sport United bought by Orlando Pirates. Yes, he's going to come in in the mix. So guys, what do you think of the players that you are seeing in the pitch so far? Yes, share your comments and your thoughts. And yes, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so and click that bell icon so that you don't miss any of this content that we share and upload on our channel. Yes, this is a nice fixture. Three points awaits for Orlando Pirates and also for Amazul FC who are coming in the fixture with high confidence after winning Keita Chiefs and knocking them out of the Karim Black Label Cup. Yes, they have knocked E Keita Chiefs towards the dying minutes of the second half we saw the Amait Amakosi crashing out of the cup yes the drought today continues but I'm not gonna speak about it yes so let's focus on the Orlando Pirates at this point in time yes another player that complete the midfield department I'm gonna bring in Umunari Umunari will come in and also occupy the center of the mid together with Tim Lodge and Maswangani so yes, that completes the midfield department for Orlando Pirates. So we're going to see how these two teams will fare come the day. Yes, Omanarika is also a very, a very solid uh, and um, most player that is needed in the mix for Orlando Pirates. So yes, he's going to come in and occupy that space right there. Yes, guys. So share your thoughts. What do you think 
of the military department for Orlando Pirates. Yes, should the coach feel the need, he can also substitute Omonari and place him with Ubaloni. That is my view. They can also complement very well for this particular fixture and this particular encounter. So should Maswanganye not be able to continue with the game? Yes, they can bring in Vincent Pule. Yes, a very left-footed player for Orlando Pirates. So that would be the guy that can come in and occupy that space for e Orlando Pirates. So Upule is back as well. We saw him playing um, with Cape Town Spurs as he was substituted. Yes, so Orlando Pirates also are coming to this fixture with high confidence after winning convincingly 2-0 to e Cape Town Spurs. Yes, they collided together on Friday and Orlando Pirates came out triumphant on the day. So yes, both teams are looming with confidence very high. So they will come in and compete for maximum three points come this Tuesday. So we're going to see how these two teams fare on the day. So yes, we're going to move on. We need two more, two more players in the pitch to complete our 11 on this pitch. Oh yes, before I forget, another player that can also come in um, and replace Omohopa Le Pambili can be this guy Kotua Okemit Erasmus who also scored in the fixture uh, against Cape Town Spurs. So he can be also another potential setting. He can be also another potential substitute for the Orlando Pirates. So yes, Erasmus is a very experienced player. We have seen how he does um, in his past. He has also played for big teams like Sundowns. Yes, so he's going to come in and um, and substitute Umohopa and Ulipasa can remain as a, one of the strikers, Le Pambili. So it's going down for e Orlando Pirates and Amazulu as these two teams clash for maximum three points. Yes, I'm going to bring in another place, another player, Kotua Oldi Sanda. Oldi Sanda will come in and occupy the left centre back for e Orlando Pirates. So that will be who Oldi Sanda will come in and, and occupy that space right there for this particular fixture. Oldi Sanda is a very solid defender. Yes, he's going to see him on this day. Yes, he does not uh, take any chances. He defends wholeheartedly and plays very hard for the team. He's a hard-working player for Orlando Pirates. So yes, he's going to come in and occupy that space right there for Orlando Pirates. Yes, I'm going to bring in another player by the name of Utapelo Toki. Utoki will come in and occupy that space as a vice captain. So we're going to be um, putting him in and he's going to be marching and controlling the troops at the back for Orlando Pirates. So guys, this is the potential starting 11 for Orlando Pirates that I've put through for you guys. Do you think Pirates will come back triumphant and come back and win and claim the points on the day? Yes, share your comments in the comment section below. We would like to hear what you guys think of this particular fixture for Orlando Pirates. Yes, um, three points is awaiting for them on this day. So will they collect maximum points? Yes, also please guys, give me your predictions for the score. I want to hear what you guys think. So my score this time around, I'm going to say 2-1 against Orlando Pirates. So Orlando Pirates will come back and win this fixture comfortably by 2-1. So guys, tell me in the comment section below, what do you think of the scores that you guys are having in mind? Yes, guys. So this is the squad that I've put through for you guys. This is the scheme that I've put through, guys. That's comprising of Ofori in between the two sticks and Ushandu on the right back and Utoki, Unda and Uhoto making the, the, the back line for Orlando Pirates and also Uloch Ngapa Ngagal, Ngagal right wing and Umaswangani on the left wing and Umunari and Tim making the, the completing the the midfield department for Orlando Pirates I'm going to have Umahopa and Ulipasa Le Ambili so guys what do you think of this potential starting 11 for Orlando Pirates put your comments in the comment section below we would like to hear from you and should you find this information informative please share like this video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to our channel and join the Disc Fanatic family and please click that bell icon 
to get notification of all the new content video that we share and upload on the Fanatic channel. See you guys on the next one. Let's go.